one of the possible cases for this to be happening for event A and event B to be happening at the same time will be when all the math books are on the top rack which means that it is going to be a scenario that is like this math 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 and math and because they are they must be together so I'm going to group them together as one object and there will be just two spaces left because there are going to be six spaces in the top rack. And yet for event B, all the literature books must also be in the same rack. And there are three literature books, which means that it is impossible for these two to be occupied by any literature books, which means that for the literature books, they must be in the bottom rack and they must also be separated. So they will be separated by the geography books because these two spaces here will be geography, two geography books. There are five geography books, which means that there will be three geography books left here in the bottom rack. And um, I'm going to use the slotting method that we have discussed in our Achievers TV topic outline to try to make sure that the literature books are always going to be separated. So we're going to do this slotting method by slotting the the three literature books in one, two, three, four of the possible spaces. Let's try to calculate the number of ways that this can happen. So if I were to be treating this as, as an object, we have one, two, three, three objects. So it is going to be three factorial. But the two geography books, they are identical. So I'm going to divide this by two factorial. There's no point for us to be arranging the mathematics book because they're identical anyway. Let's move on to the bottom rack. For the bottom rack, there's also no point for us to be arranging the geography books because they are identical. So we just need to focus on the slotting of the literature books in these four spaces. So out of four, we will choose three spaces for the literature books. And again, since the literature books are identical, there's no point for us to be arranging them or else it's going to be just three factorial divided by three factorial. So we will have this as the top rack multiplied by this for what that is happening in the bottom rack. But at the same time, this is just one of the possible cases that can happen because they can switch. Okay, this entire arrangement, they can, it can happen in the bottom. This entire arrangement, it can also happen at the top. But the same old case is going to appear again, which means that this is going to appear again even if I have to switch the top to bottom, bottom to top. So I'm going to just multiply this by 2 and this will give us our final answer of 24. In part 2, we are going to try to do our calculation based on complement instead. So the first thing that I'm going to try to do is to try to write down the number of ways that um, there will be, we can be arranging all the 12 books without any restrictions. Let me write it down here. So number of ways. Okay, so for this to happen, there are 12 books, so 12 factorial. And of the 12 books, five of them are identical geography books, so divided by five factorial. Four of them are identical mathematics books, so divided by four factorial. And three of them are identical literature books, so divided by three factorial. And this gives us a 27720. And now I'm going to work with the complement uh, cases, okay, which is the case where there is no mathematics books in the first rack at all, because what the question one is to have to, at least one. So we are, we're going to work with less none in the first in the top rack. So the first case that I can think of where there will be no mathematics book in the top rack. Okay, let's say this is top and this is bottom. So for it to happen, all the math well, all the mathematics books must be in the bottom rack. So math, 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 math in the bottom rack. Um, there will be two spaces left. I'm going to plant in the literature books. So literature, literature. There are, there are three literature books. So one of them must be in the top rack. And for the rest of them, it will be occupied by the geography books. So geography, one, two, three, four, and five. So for this to happen, for the top rack, it is going to be six factorial divided by five identical objects here, the geography books, five factorial. For the bottom rack, it is six objects, six factorial again, divided by four math books, so four factorial, and two literature books that are identical, divided by two factorial or so. This will give us a 90. Case two. What I can think of is if for the bottom rack, we will have math, 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 math again. And uh, the two spaces that are left is going to be occupied by, they're going to be occupied by the geography books. So for the top rack, there are five geography books. So for the top rack, there will be three geography books since two of them are already in the bottom rack. And for the rest, it will be occupied by the three literature books. So for the top rack, for it to happen, it is going to be six factorial divided by three geography books that are identical, three factorial, three literature books that are identical, two factorial. Then this, I'll be multiplying it by what that is happening in the bottom rack. So six factorial, four identical math books, four factorial. And for the two identical geography books, two factorial. 
and this is equal to 300. Okay, there's one more case, case 3. So for the last case, for the bottom rack, once again, we want that to be all the math books. So math, 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 all the four math books are going to be in the bottom rack. And for the two spaces, it can be occupied by either the literature books or the geography books. So for the top rack, one literature book is already here. So there will be two literature books here. One geography book is already here. So the rest of the four spaces will be occupied by the four geography books. For the, bot for the top rack, it is going to be six factorial divided by two L's. So two factorial. 4G, so divided by 4 factorial. For the bottom rack, 4 factorial divided by 4M for math books. So 4 factorial and that's it. Okay, because L and G, they are definitely different. So if I were to calculate for this, this is equal to 4, 5, 0. So now I can derive the total number of ways that things can happen in this particular case in part 2, which is to take this 2, 7, 7, 2, 0, minus away all this. So I'll minus away 90, our minus away 300, our minus away 450. This should give us our answer 26880.